Hello, welcome to the 29th annual Save a Heart Gala. I'm Mark Norris, one of the congenital cardiologists at the Michigan Congenital Heart Center. That means I'm a cardiologist for both kids and adults who have congenital heart issues. I've been here with the team for the past nine years and that's been a period of rapid growth for our program. And I am Michael Joint, and also one of the pediatric and adult congenital cardiologists at the Michigan Congenital Heart Center. And I have the pleasure of working with Mark and Dr. Tim Cotts in our adult congenital heart program. We're coming, you, coming to you from the beautiful Russell Video Studios here in Ann Arbor. Last year, we were lucky enough to have Dr. Jeff Zampi and his lovely wife, Amy, as our elegant and esteemed virtual hosts. And this year, you have us. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, no need to adjust your Zoom settings. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get. We're virtual again this year, but we're keeping the denim and diamonds theme going strong. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean denim and diamonds? I didn't, was there a theme? Uh, yes, Mike. Save a heart 2022 denim and diamonds. That's why I'm wearing my bedazzled tie and this ridiculous denim vest. Okay, well, I did not get that memo. I guess one of us was not informed. Just kind of went with my go-to MC outfit, so I guess I'm glad it worked out. Well, my apologies, Mike. Thanks. While we're celebrating virtually again this year, our mission remains the same, to support children and families living with congenital heart disease. We're gonna be joined later by a Zoom with uh, John and Kathy Sharpie, as well as Rick and Bonnie Oye, who are hosting one of the house parties tonight, celebrating our successes. Uh, our yeah. successes, but also the larger Congenital Heart Center successes. Everybody. John and Rick are the co-directors of the Congenital Heart Center, but we'd love to hear from you tonight as well via social media. So please message us or contact us at uh, pound sign. That's a uh, hashtag, buddy, hashtag. Hashtag UM Save a Heart, all one word. Feel free to ask questions. Give some shout outs to your favorite CHC docs, nurses, including those tuning in from the hospital, your providers, or to say hello to other friends that are in the chat box. Now, if you'll all take a look to your screen, you'll see a chat box to the left. And we will be sharing some very important links and messages there. So keep an eye on that throughout the night. Also, if you look down here on your screen, you should see a QR code, that round symbol there. That's gonna have the web address that will take you to our silent and our live auction pages. Now, we would like to acknowledge our sponsors, our donors, and the members of the community who have come together for Save a Heart campaign to raise funds and awareness for patients and families. Right now and throughout the night, our generous sponsors will be scrolling on your screen. This event would not be possible without their support. Thank you. The amount of support and involvement we've seen through Save a Heart has been incredible. And this truly has been encouraging to our whole team. Believe it or not, we actually ran out of Save a Heart t-shirts the first week of February and had to restock to keep up with the demand, which is more than 1,300 t-shirts. That's a lot. Our silent auction went live last week and we've already had numerous bids. Please be sure to look at the website throughout the show and bid high. Bid often. Oh, and it's okay to outbid yourself. I've done it six times already. 
So uh, that's right, Mark. We have a number of really, really great items and packages available. There's actually a two-night stay up in Petoskey at the Inn at Bay Harbor. There's some lovely Tiffany jewelry. There's also a very nice bourbon lovers package. I think everyone should really take a good look at that. That's um, that's from our own adult congel heart team, is I? Yeah, that's a good one. There's gift cards. There's dinners uh, at local restaurants, including the Blue Llama uh, Jazz Club, Connor O'Neill's Farm to Table package, Detroit Red Wings package, an actual football signed by Coach Harbaugh himself. He's back. He's Silent back. auction is going to close at nine o'clock tonight. We want to thank all of our generous partners and families who've donated some really ex great and exciting items for you to bid on. So let's get those bids in now. Now later, you will also be hearing more about the live auction featuring incredible getaway and dinner packages. Please bid readily as all proceeds go to benefit the patients and families of the Congenital Heart Center. Now, we truly do serve those with the most complex heart conditions, not just here in Michigan, but also nationally and internationally. We as a center have cared for patients from all 50 states and another 60 countries. Uh, we provide care for patients regardless of age, and we have congenital heart clinics in more than a dozen locations outside of Ann Arbor. We are also one of the largest and the most experienced pediatric heart programs in the country. With over 600 surgeries and nearly 15,000 clinic visits this past year alone, our surgical outcomes are one of the best in the country, and we are continually striving to improve outcomes for our patients. We foster a very robust research program with over 50 active grants and 150 publications annually. Now, our care is holistic. We offer unique mental health services now embedded within the Congenital Heart Center. And specifically as adult congenital heart doctors, Mike and I are part of the team caring for more than 2,500 adult patients. This program is growing rapidly. When you give to Save a Heart, your generosity helps to fund research, drive development of new technologies and therapies, and provide support directly to our families. Now that we have shared some things about our program, we would like to tell you a little bit more about what you're gonna see on tonight's show. We have an exciting event planned for you this evening. We'll be sharing some stories from patients and families, hearing from congenital heart center faculty and researchers. We should acknowledge that we're here tonight, not just to look amazing in these denim outfits. Thank you. Sure. But to raise funds for Save a Heart through three main routes, our live auction, the silent auction, and also through the giving tree. We mentioned the silent auction a little bit earlier, but the feature items are actually in our live auction that we will open soon. And that closes tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, you know, I heard that Ann Arbor's own Mr. Mike Tirico is actually announcing this. What? Mike Tirico? I'll believe it when I hear it. I just saw him in Beijing for the Olympics. Yeah, he's a busy guy. And when you know him like I do, it's Mr. Mike Tirico. But uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to be announcing those, I heard. Yeah, well, I can't wait to hear about those. If you've attended our Save a Heart Gala over the past 28 years, you know about our giving tree. Despite being virtual, we're keeping that tradition alive. With the giving tree, every gift matters, no matter the amount. So when we all come together to donate, we can have a bigger impact. Go to category giving tree in the auction or simply scroll down to the very end of the auction listings to find those links. Our goal is to raise an additional $20,000 for Save a Heart tonight. Please, please use our web address or QR code to get online and make a gift. We should be able to reach our goal in no time. We may have actually reached it already. It may have happened. I mean, after seeing these outfits. We'll get some updates. So now, here is Mr. Mike Tirico to present our live auction items. California Wine Country. Get away for a relaxing week in California Wine Country for up to four guests. This magnificent package includes accommodations for seven nights, four nights at the Orange Flower Cottage, a private guest house in Sonoma with beautiful vineyard views, and three nights at the magnificent Ketchum Estate Cottage in Healdsburg. During your stay, you will enjoy tastings at three premium wineries, including Ketchum Estate, Russian River Valley. Enjoy a private tasting for up to four with Ali Ketchum, proprietress and Ann Arbor native. Goose Cross Cellars. Enjoy a private tasting of small production wines for up to four at a family winery overlooking the bucolic Napa Valley and Chimney Rock. Enjoy a private guided tour of the production facility and cellars 
with a winery ambassador and a VIP private seated tasting for up to four in the heart of the Stag's Leap District of Napa Valley. Airfare transportation costs not included, and the starting bid, $1,500. Pacific Rim Private Dining Experience Enjoy an exclusive five-course dinner for up to eight people in the Pacific Rim Private Dining Room, a place of genuine hospitality and great food. Chef Duck Tang will design and prepare a memorable meal, bringing creative innovation and fresh seasonality to traditional foods of Asia based on your specific preferences and tastes. Don't miss your chance to bid on this unique dining experience for you and your guests. Package does not include alcohol or gratuity, and the starting bid, $500. A seven-night stay at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. Enjoy a week in sunny Florida, August 20th to August 26th, 2022. Just two hours southeast of Walt Disney World Resort, this elegant, old-fashioned hideaway is located on Florida's scenic Atlantic Treasure Coast near the charming community of Vero Beach. Close to golf courses, shopping, and nature preserves, the resort even shares space with the nesting grounds of the loggerhead sea turtle. Take a dip in the Mickey Mouse-shaped pool, splash down the swashbuckling water slide, or get soaked in the pirate-themed wet play area. Visit the Portholes Miniature Golf Course, rent bicycles to pedal down the coast, rent wave runners or kayaks to play in the ocean, or catch and release fish on the private lake. You will stay in a two-bedroom villa which can sleep up to nine adults. The villa has private porch or balcony, a washer and dryer among other amenities. Accommodations only, airfare or transportation not included. This is donated by Dr. and Mrs. Thomas and Joyce Meyer. I tell you, how can you not bid on those items when they're introduced by that voice? You know, I actually heard if you bid the highest on the Pacific Rim package, you get a gold medal in curling. I mean, seriously though, how important is Save a Heart? Take a minute to ask yourself this. Mike Trico put this at the top of his to-do list this past month. That's above the Super Bowl and flying back and forth to Beijing to do the Olympics. I mean, come on, if everyone gave like that tonight, just imagine what we could do for our patients and their families. I agree, Mike. With five kids of my own, that Disney Beach Resort is looking pretty good. I think, that, uh, I think that's a message to tell the kids to fire up that Diners Club card. The live action is now open for bidding and it will close at 8 p.m. The silent auction is gonna remain open until nine. Now, while this is a fun evening and we've got exciting auctions and activities for you, before you jump into the auction, we first want to share with you a glimpse of the journeys our patients and their families face. In learning more about Chloe Moser and Willow Means, we hope that you get a better understanding of the challenges that these families face and why we are so passionate about, passionate about what we do. Okay, you gotta look at that camera where he is, okay? What makes your heart special, okay? So say, bicuspid. Bicuspid. Say, coarctation. 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 Stenosis. Aortic valve stenosis. That's not weird. Stenosis. St <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. We're going to have you come in and see if you can say these words too. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe was found to have parts of Sean's complex as a two and a half month old. If she hadn't had surgery, she would have had a very high likelihood of having either a major event or even not necessarily making it through that phase. She had been born um, in Bowling Green at our local hospital. And they said, where do you want to check your heart? We're gonna go do an echo. And I remember sitting there while they're doing it, you know, your little baby on this table with a machine. And, and they came in after they read it and said, you know, you're gonna go, go to Ann Arbor. Then they asked us to leave the room. We go back in and the, uh, the team had arrived from Ott to transport her and just going in and just seeing her on the 
the breathing tube is just like, yeah, I, I don't know, it just. In those darkest moments, we see all sorts of responses from people. Understandable, too, because some people are angry, some people are, they're all worried, some people are understandably devastated, and some people are able to find moments of joy and persevere despite those moments. Willow seems small in stature, but Willow has a very, very big personality. Her smile can bring joy to anyone. She is the most joyful baby ever. She was diagnosed with Tetralogy of Fallot and atrioventricular septal defect. She was diagnosed when I was pregnant with her. And these are two different lesions which can occur together, but that in itself is somewhat rare. I always knew that it would require a repair. And my husband and I, at that time, we decided together that as long as God was allowing this child to still be fighting, and as long as she was going to fight, we would never stop fighting for her. Tracy and Eric were, were such a team, a well-oiled machine. We went in for her heart surgery, so we were given kind of guidelines on what to expect and what would happen. You undergo a heart surgery. There can be future heart surgeries later in life, but it's really not expected that a baby would have to undergo something like heart transplant with that diagnosis. I noticed her um, behaving different. So we went in the night of July 4th and they didn't really find anything in the emergency department. Over that next week, she seemed just almost lifeless. So I took her back to the emergency room. On the way there, I kept talking to her, just trying to get any kind of sound out of her. When we got to the emergency room, she was so cold and they took her right back. Within 15 minutes of us getting there, she was gone. We lost her. I remembered staring at the monitor and just praying, like praying for the line to just start pulsing again so it would come back. And all these hands on her, that moment, <laughs> that's a whole different level of panic. And they worked on her and they worked on her and they worked on her and they got her back. As we were preparing to get up to the ICU, we lost her again. You just have to pray through it and just believe that you have this amazing team in front of you and they're gonna do what they do best. My husband was able to join by that time while we were getting up to the ICU. They came back into the waiting room to talk to my husband and I and explain to us that they had lost her three more times while we were waiting. I think it's the path we didn't want, but it's the path we were given. It's changed our lives forever. Just her diagnosis, and she's had four surgeries and two heart casts, and she has a blood pressure of somebody, of an adult, and she's five and a half, six years old. And so that's, we worry about how thick her wall has gotten, um, how the longevity of her aortic valve, because it's not formed right. Um, what went from a complete whirlwind, not knowing anything, to as we stand today, it's, uh, it's just part of our life. Every surgeon, every nurse, every doctor, they treat your child like they're their own child. And we've felt like it's a second home, which is insanely sad. would not be able to sustain her going forward. 
the decision was that for Willow, um, trying to get her approved to be listed for a heart transplant would have given her the best chance at life. We were notified on August 17th. That morning, they, they do their multidisciplinary rounds, and I was always there to participate with them in person, but my husband would join via phone. So that morning, we got the amazing news that Willow was approved to be listed for a heart transplant, and it was tears of joy. We were thankful, we were praising God, we were so happy. Honestly, that was just like, I felt like for the first time in months, I can actually take a deep breath because she was going to have a chance to live. So four hours later, I received a phone call from my husband's um, office and they told me that he had passed out at work. And so I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what? Okay. My husband, so let me paint the visual. He was this big teddy bear of a guy, probably the most caring, um, selfless, humble person in the world. And he loved his girls. He thought Willow was so perfect. Um, she was his princess. And so I just got in the car. Um, and when I got down there, they came out um, to the lobby and they took me back, you know, to a room. It was, it was very, very crowded there. And so I'm sitting there and, you know, they're like, well, you know, who came in? We haven't been able to identify the person. You know, they're kind of going back and forth. Ultimately, they told me that the person that, you know, presented to the emergency department, they believed it to be my husband. There was no ID on him, so they couldn't ID him at the time, but that individual didn't make it. go on from like, what do you do now? I was so committed to saving my daughter since I couldn't do anything to save my husband. So that's what I did. The care team though at Michigan, they were amazing. They became my family. I didn't have any other family local other than my husband. So they became my family. <laughs> Those are two incredible stories, and we are so appreciative to Chloe and Willow's families for sharing their stories and allowing us to be a part of their families. You know, these stories highlight that we meet our patients in times of crisis, and this crisis can take many forms and often extends beyond the walls of the hospital. Uh, at times, it actually feels like the only safe place our families have is here at the Congenital Heart Center. It is a sincere privilege to walk side by side with our families during these difficult times and to celebrate their successes. Yeah. So we will be hearing a bit more about Willow's journey a little bit later in our show, but. We wanted to share with you an update uh, this past week. We were so lucky to have Chloe and her family making donations to our patients in the Congenital Heart Center. The Mosier family delivered coloring items, stuffed animals, and other comforting gifts that they found were so meaningful to Chloe during her stay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Means and Moser families, for sharing your stories with us. There are many families affected by congenital heart disease joining us tonight and throughout Michigan and beyond. We're now going to send it over to two leaders of our congenital heart family whose vision and dedication have helped grow our program into the world-renowned institution it is for congenital heart care. They've also been involved with the Save a Heart Gala from its inception. We would now like to introduce the co-directors of the Congenital Heart Center, Dr. John Sharpie and Dr. Rick Oye. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? Hey, great job. Thanks. So also thank the, the Means and the Mosier families uh, for their uh, contribution to this evening. Um, I think they are representative of all the families that benefit uh, from fundraising at Save a Heart. Fundraising uh, at Save a Heart, as has been mentioned, benefits specifically our patients and their families. So we're grateful 
for everybody uh, for being on tonight. This is our 29th year. I have to give a shout out to my partner, Ed Bove and his wife, Linda, and Ami and Prue Rosenthal, who were the people that really started this 29 years ago. And thank you guys for getting everybody excited about the auctions. I love the outfits, by the way. Um, we really want everybody to consider bidding on, on some fantastic items. Uh, we appreciate Mike doing everything he, he has to try to introduce these uh, live auction items. Um, we want to make sure that everybody gets their opportunity to bid on everything in the silent auction as well. I, I know that Rick and I are competing currently for, I think, the wine, the, we're going to Napa. I think we're trying to, we're probably fighting with Bryn and her husband. I, I don't know. We'll put in a lot of bids and, and uh, try to raise the prices as much as possible. I also wanted to make sure everyone focuses on some of the items that are there from our staff. Our staff do a phenomenal job. Everything we do every single day is really brought uh, for us, for our patients, by the, our staff. They're fantastic. And the, the fat staff and the faculty from the different areas of the Heart Center have part, part, partnered together to put together some great auction items. So please look at those and bid on those and bid often. Uh, everybody get online and, and, and please uh, do something that, that uh, really you won't regret because of how much it means to our patients and families. Um, we'd also like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Uh, we couldn't do this without you. Your, your names are scrolling in the bottom and we are, are tremendously grateful. But before I even do that, I wanna thank two very special ladies who I think have done the lion's share of the work tonight. Uh, Gail Thomas and Barb Brown, uh, two of the most dedicated folks that we have and their, their work uh, is greatly appreciated. And I know this means everything to them to see this night be a success. Now, with respect to our sponsors, I'd like to specifically start with our presenting sponsor, the Heart of a Child Foundation. Uh, Ragu and Rashida are, are just tremendous uh, supporters of our program. They've been with us from the very beginning and their dedication to our patients and families and to our cause is, is just remarkable. I also want to thank our platinum sponsors, beginning with John and Kathy Sharpie. Uh, John, I want you to know, is wearing jeans that are uh, bedazzled with uh, <laughs> rhinestones. <laughs> Uh, and I'd also like to thank my good friends, Paul and Susan Meister. Uh, the Meisters, again, have been such dedicated supporters of our program for so long, and we're tremendously grateful for them. And we'd like to acknowledge Philip and Victoria Sadaroff for their generous donation and their platinum sponsorship. And as well, the Van Hooser family, who again, has done so much for our, our, our faculty and staff in helping to set up some uh, fellowships. So thank you folks so much for being here tonight and supporting our program. And with that, we'll hand it back. Oh, oh hey. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. We were just... Uh, we had a little bedazzling We're just issue. trying to update uh, some bedazzle. We'll take I'm glad, care of that. Uh, glad you're enjoying the show. Uh, feel free to send over some of those bacon-wrapped shrimp there. Look at that charcuterie tray. Wow. That's beautiful. I should, do we have one of those around here? I think it's in the back. Uh, we're going to see a video now featuring some of our colleagues in the CHC sharing some of their experiences and what makes our center so special. We have a world-class center with world-class providers, striving daily to be leaders and best in our field. We would like you now to meet some of our colleagues at the Congenital Heart Center and let them share with you their passion and their devotion. This journey in the past six years has been, I just hope that she's gonna live a long enough life to make it to a medical advancement so she can get married, so she can possibly have kids, so she can have a life of her own and that we don't fight this battle the whole way and lose at the end. to the 10th floor, which is the ICU. You get off the elevator, and instead of hanging a left to go into the ICU, you hang a right to go down towards the family room. It's about 30 steps, and it's on the right-hand side, and it, it takes all of those 30 steps to stop focusing on, could you have taken one more millimeter? Would that mean that a patient doesn't have to come back for redo surgery for 10 years instead of seven years? Would one more stitch in one direction have made that valve function a little bit more perfectly so that a patient doesn't have to see you again for 
14 years instead of six years. Our operations are different depending upon whether you're five pounds and a newborn, two years old and a toddler, a teenager or an adult. Part of this center's integrity is to constantly try and think of ways in which we can do things to be better. For instance, ways in which we can grow cells in a lab that ultimately could replace part of a damaged heart or allow the left side of a heart that's underdeveloped to actually grow. Perhaps every field feels this way uh, within medicine, which is that if it weren't for research, that particular specialty uh, would be obsolete so quickly. It's made a tremendous difference. I mean, five or 10 years ago, there were no valves for kids. Now there are valves, and not just valves, but valves that we could put in in a cath lab like where I'm standing now without needing to do surgery. Prior to the baby even being born, to be able to really understand what their heart looks like. I think the advances that we've made, in, specifically in three-dimensional imaging, have really had a tremendous impact. And I think that's incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, at Michigan, they had different technology to really take a look at her heart. That's something that we can do at this center in a way that other hospitals, other centers can't, because we have 3D type quality to where you could really see the heart and what would need to be fixed in the heart. In a three-dimensional virtual reality type system, that allows us to better plan each and every step of an operation. Not only do we have world-class heart care, physicians, nurses, techs, you know, surgical operating rooms and interventions available to our patients with, with medical care providers that I would trust hands down with my own children, but we've gone beyond that. We know that they're gonna do everything in their power for her. They literally take a patient and generally put all of their heart and compassion into it. And so that's why I know that they're driving to find the cure because if they lose a patient, I know they feel like they've lost their own child because they, they're just that passionate. We're so happy that we're able to share with you a little bit of what we do at the Congenital Heart Center. Uh, to take a moment for a few shout outs, we've had a great response online. Joining us from 11 West within Mott, uh, thank you Angelina and her daughter for joining us. How special is that? We've had a couple, of, at least uh, two of our patients who are followed con the Congenital Heart Center um, have also uh, messaged us on social media, Jackson and Valentina. Thank you guys. Want to keep hearing from more folks. Please let us know who's tuning in. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We'd love to find out who's coming in from, from the furthest away and, and um, uh, your connections to the Congenital Heart Center. So we love hearing it. Yeah, this may be a little selfish, but this is really encouraging, like I said, to us, uh, to our team, including people who are at the hospital tonight. Right. Uh, focusing on the auction for just a minute, the Disney account, the Disney Disney uh, Vero Beach Resort package still does not have any bids yet. I think your kids are having a yeah. problem with the access so code. The three digits on the back, on the back of the card, Flip it over, you have to guys. add that in Flip and that's going to take care of it. Your okay? mom will know how to do it. She's Believe got me. it. She's got this. She'll appreciate your help. I sincerely appreciate the team that I work with at the Congenital Heart Center. Uh, I know that my patients receive better care because of the daily collaboration that I have with my colleagues and it's support from donors and friends like you that make that possible. Now, here are some specifics about one of our Save a Heart traditions, our giving tree. Someday, hopefully as soon as next year, we'll all again be able to participate in person at our annual Save a Heart and take our plates of hors d'oeuvres and glasses of wine over to the giving tree. Could I have my glass of thank Sure, you. there you go. Okay, thank you. And we could take them over to the giving tree to select the specific need we want to meet. Oh, I have something, can you hold me? Got, I got it. And those donations, through the Giving Tree make a huge difference for our patients and families. So part to participate in the Giving Tree tonight, uh, visit the link on your screen or use that QR code, scroll down to the bottom of the silent auction. Okay, now that you've found your way to the Giving Tree, please donate. Any amount counts. These gifts will advance congenital heart center research and provide support for our families. These gifts will truly make a difference for all of our patients. So try to put yourself in the shoes of a family traveling down from the UP, trying to hold down a job, juggling the parenting of other children. 
Even $10 could help a family like this with transportation needs as they travel back and forth for appointments and treatments, burdens that are often unfortunately not covered by insurance. $20 can provide support for child life services to promote bonding and coping for patients and families. Uh, $50 could purchase a device that could relieve pain with blood draws and make these procedures easier for kids, including things that are done by our child life team. Right. And even $100 could support technology like iPads that make it easier for patients to communicate with family and caregivers who can't be in the hospital. $200 could provide customized medical equipment, again, not covered by insurance, including for those with ventricular assist devices. $300 could develop new education materials and resources that help patients and families to better understand and manage their care plans, such as those developed for infants with single ventricle heart anatomy. $1,000 or more could launch a brand new research study that could lead to greater knowledge, groundbreaking discoveries, and improved care and quality of life for congenital heart families. While the Giving Tree and Silent Auction are open until 9 p.m., the opportunity to donate through the live auction is coming to a close in about a little over, what, 20 minutes 20 or so? 20 minutes, 23. So um, we'd love to hear, again, some more from everybody out there, and we'd like to hear your connections to the Congenital Heart Center, so please keep all those messages coming in. It's great to hear from so many people participating in this event. Earlier tonight, uh, we began to hear about Willow's journey, and now we're gonna learn about the next chapter in Willow's story. You know, oftentimes, um, when I tell people what I do, I'm a psychologist for, for kids who are in the hospital, people will say, gosh, that's such a sad job. Why do you, why do, you do that? I, I don't think that we can put into words truly what a privilege and what an honor it is to walk this journey with, with patients and with their families. When Tracy talks about her experience and the care team becoming her family, I truly think that's what we here at the Congenital Heart Center do incredibly well. Sometimes there are uh, glimpses of what the future looks like, and for many things, it's hard to even predict where we'll be because there's that much potential for change. We need to continue to partner with our donors who are such a, an important part of our team to help us get to the next generation of devices, new therapies, new innovations in our specialty. This is critical to our success in the future. When you're listed and you're waiting on a transplant, every single time you're, the phone rings, you're thinking, is this the call? <laughs> um, it's typically not right away, <laughs> but you think that anyway. Or if you leave the hospital and you see the number pop up on your phone, it's, it's like for a fraction of a moment there, you almost panic because you're like, oh my God, what's wrong? But then in the very next moment, you're like, oh my God, is this the heart? So on that day, well, that was the heart call. And that probably was the best call that I've ever received. <laughs> oh gosh, it was a few days before Halloween and so I thought it was appropriate that I dressed her in a Wonder Woman costume before she went down to the OR because she absolutely was our little Wonder Woman. And that year, um, I was Wonder Woman along with my older daughter for Halloween. We just thought it was appropriate. So that's what we did. Will Willow, all every time I saw her, she she has a has a strength and a fire in her, much like her mom. So we got her all dressed up, and everybody came in and spent time with her, and we took pictures. And when they got ready to take her down um, to the operating room, I knew I couldn't go with her, so I was kind of standing in the room. But then everybody was like, "Oh, well, you can come in the hall," and I'm like, "Okay, I don't know why." So. I walked in the hall and I turned this corner 
And it was like the most surreal moment ever. Like that hallway, which I had walked hundreds of times, it seemed like it was five miles long and it was filled with all the staff and the team and everybody was clapping and they were cheering on Willow and it just was the most amazing, amazing sight to see. Uh, there's nothing better um, than those than those walks. You know, some of our patients, they're here for a year, more. Um, and yes, we, we get to know them, they get to know us. Um, and that day that they, that they walk out or they walk on to kind of that big next step, um, they are some of my most favorite days um, in this hospital. Willow is one of the many inspirational stories that we get to be a part of on a daily basis. It is amazing what happens within the walls of our hospital on any given day. Thank you again to everyone that helped make this event and our larger mission a reality. And we're gonna just check in. We've heard from some more people on social media and we wanted to kind of give reciprocal shout outs. We understand people are tuned in from the um, ICU over at Mott where uh, many of our congenital heart patients are being cared for right now. Um, tuning into this live event, we wanna say hi to them and hi to other team members. Shout out to people logging in from Maryland. We have Mar Miami, we got a Miami in here. Got some Ohio's, we love Ohio. It's, Welcome we, Ohio. We, we, come on down anytime Ohio. We have people from Western Michigan. This is fantastic, so thank you. We have a total number of families logged on that we know of, 273 right now. Thank you all for being here. Right, and as our last check, where our total giving tree donations were up to well, just shy of $5,000. If we could get that over that, that we're would be great. Push that Keep up. pushing that up. Um, and we have some additional uh, updates on some of our other items. What, what was, well, I think we just, I mean, we need to do everything we can to get these donations up. This you, money is going in to save a heart. Yeah. It's going into the congenital I'm, heart center. I'm here. Man, I'm here. What, what do you think? What should we do? I think we have some items of value right here that would be good to get into the auction. Right now? We should right do this now. right now? Right now. Let's get them in the auction. I don't know quite how to do it. I'm getting some nervous looks from the side, but we're going to go of, for it. A lot of nail biting going on We in are going folks. to be auctioning off ties. Oh, yeah. Bedazzled These. Michigan tie. Right here. For Mark and Ty for Mike, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pound sign, hashtag, 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 hashtag. Mike's tie or Mark's tie and a, and a dollar just, value. There's a rhinestone in the center of this one I just wanna highlight. I mean, it's a little more valuable. Mark's Small is print, nice, but... none of these are diamonds and they may not stick for any time at all. <laughs> but other than that, these can be uh, acquired through an auction of a high bid in the chat box unless that's not legal and then we will totally not honor this at all. But we'll reach out to you if you were the top bidder for both of these. And I cannot guarantee this, but we can have these ties signed by Jim Harbaugh's mailman. I think we can make it happen. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. But even if not, that should still not limit you from donating like crazy. So and if you don't there. want one of the ties, scroll to the bottom, find that giving tree item, and just go ahead and, and find your own tie later on. That's great. So I think this is really going to push I it I think up. this is going to do it. This is going to be it. okay. Great. And we're let's take a quick look. We're going to look at, oh, giving tree. Look at what we're doing. Look <laughs> yes. at that. No one wants the ties. We're up over $6,000 on the giving tree. So thank you. <laughs> We haven't heard yet about the ties. I'm a little surprised on that part, but that's okay. And uh, make sure we want to hear about those bids coming in for our other live auction items. The wine country trip, the the, the Pacific Rim trip. How Pacific your, Rim trip. How do your kids do with the Disney? So Pacific Rim is a restaurant that my wife and I like to go to or for our anniversary. That meal is for eight. I, I may be able to stretch that into four anniversaries worth. Or one trip with the whole family. Or one that trip could, with the family do. and Mike. It's going to be great. It would all, <laughs> me, please take my wife because uh, I've never taken her there. So that would be good. That would be a nice one. To Thank you to, to the Craven family. family for showing some interest in at least one of the ties. Oh my gosh. Both ties for 100. We could do a package deal. It means I mean, a lot. I thank you, everyone. Let's bring it home. <laughs> Great. So thank you all for being part of this amazing team and for making it possible for us to do what it is we do. Unless we have run long, this is the last call <laughs> for people. It feels like we've run long. <laughs> <but> <laughs> This is the last call for people to get in their bids in the live auction that closes 
at 8 p.m. That, that does include the ties as well, for the record. So 8 p.m. is your ceiling on the ties. So please feel free to continue bidding on the silent auction um, and selecting your Giving Tree amounts until they close again uh, at 9 p.m. Well, speaking of giving, Look what was just given to us over here. One second, just a few moments ago. Oh, thank you. Thank you, cowboy. Uh, this, just a couple of lovely frosty beverages from our good friends at uh, Connor O'Neill's. Thank you. Yeah, well, Mike, I'm a little worried that this may lead to some shenanigans. I'm sorry, did you say shenanigans? Well, speaking of shenanigans, we just want to remind everyone about two exciting live fundraising opportunities coming up in two weeks from tomorrow. That's right. Although we could not be all together tonight, everyone can get together outside for our annual Shamrocks and Shenanigans 5K Fun Run Sunday morning, March 13th. Please go to the UM Save a Heart Org website to find the registration link. I, th I think it's gonna be a fun run. I think it will be fun. And there's also a new event this year, uh, the Piston Save a Heart game at Little Caesars Arena at 3 p.m. that same afternoon. Really packed day, a lot yeah. of good stuff happening on March 13th. The Pistons will take on the LA Clippers and we will be there to cheer them on and raise awareness for congenital heart disease. Those discounted tickets are on sale through the end of the night again, and the link in is on the umsaveaheart.org website. Oh, we have uh, a quick question coming in about the cost of our vests. Uh, I can only say my vest can also, my wife would appreciate if somebody would put a bid on this and take this as this is not welcome back in my house tonight. Mark, is are you keeping yours? Well, or? I've had this for a long time, Mike, I, I but, see. <laughs> but I'm willing to part with it for, uh, for the right uh, offer and donation there. That would be great. We're happy to make it work. I think we're heading into our, uh, our wrap up here. You know, let's invite Rick and John and their mm -hmm. house party friends to join us for a closing toast Has, this evening. I think Rick was interested in my tie too. Is he gonna bid on it? Was he? I think so. Rick, Rick there's Jeff. still a shot. You could still get this. <laughs> you guys, you've done a wonderful job today. We appreciate everything you've done to help uh, raise awareness and raise funds. I think this has been a fantastic night. It's so great, even though we're doing this virtually, we see so many friends and so many supporters here with us. Um, we are tremendously grateful for everything everybody has done. And uh, do we have a total? Do you, do you gentlemen give a total? We, yeah, I think so. It's updating intermittently here. Our current total from just the giving tree and donations alone is over $6,000 right now. And that's Must, not oh, counting. Oh, oh, it's, it's oh, 6,400 right now and still rising. And that's not okay. counting the auction items, uh, silent and live that have been going on. We're trying to get you a total there. Wow. Oh, wow. Mike, please. As auction items are currently at $40,390. Awesome. Oh, well, that, that deserves a toast for sure. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take that one. It's been really another fantastic Save a Heart Gala, I think. So, you know, with these past two years, it's been very difficult for all of us, but it's nice to have an event like this to celebrate all the good that is being done. So I think if we could all raise a glass to our conquering heroes and victors valiant, our patients and families and our colleagues at the Congenital Heart Center, cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Guys, that's a wrap. Another incredible, incredible Save a Heart Gala in the books. Thank you so much for your generosity. You have a little time to get into the silent auction and the giving tree until nine, but it is a good night. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Good night, guys. <laughs>